In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a starburst bracelet. It's a very popular one. As you can see, it has cute little stars on it. Um, I'm using three different colors. And for this bracelet, you will need 40 white bands and 12 bands of each color, blue, green, and pink. You'll need a C or an S clip, a hook, and a rainbow loom. Before we start, make sure the rainbow loom looks like this, so that the middle row is closest to you, and that the opening of the pins is facing away from you. Or your red arrow is facing away from you, whatever you want. Then we grab our first white band, and we're going to work on the perimeters of the bracelet. So you start on the first pin of the middle row, and you stretch out the band to the first pin of the left row. Then you start on the first pin of the left row with a new white band, and you stretch it out to the pin directly above it. And from there, you will start on the pin that you ended on, and you'll stretch it out to the pin directly above it. And you work your way up all the way to the second to last pin. I'm fast forwarding this footage, so while you're working, make sure to pause this video and play it again once you're ready for the next step. Now we've reached the second to last pin on the left row, and instead of stretching the band up to the last pin on the left row, you skip this one, you go to the last pin on the middle row. So once you've done that, you go all the way back down and you start on the first pin on the middle row, you grab a new band and you stretch it to the first pin on the right row. And now we are going to work up the right row. Um, so you put your band on the pin that you just ended on and you stretch it out straight to the pin above it. Um, again, work all the way up to the second to last pin and don't forget the pasta video. I'm fast forwarding this footage because otherwise this video would become way too long. I've explained all the steps to you and you should know them by heart now. Once you've reached the second to last pin, Again, don't forget to skip the last pin on the right row, and instead you stretch out a band to the last pin on the middle row. After we're finished with the perimeter of the bracelet, we push down all the bands so that we can make some room for the next bands. Grab your first colored band. The second pin on the middle row will become the center of your first starburst. Put your band around this pin and stretch it out to the second pin on the right row. After this, you start on the second pin on the middle row again, and you stretch it out to the first pin on the right row. Then you continue to add the bands clockwise, like so, so that it becomes a little star. Make sure to do it in this order or else it will go completely wrong. You're finished once you've added the band that stretches from the center of your starburst straight up. After you've done this, make sure you skip a pin. So from the pin that you've just ended on, you go up one pin on the middle row. So this will become the new center of your second starburst. Again, stretch it up diagonally to the right and from the center of your starburst, you work clockwise. And you continue to stretch out the bands clockwise <laughs> so that it becomes a star. Again, you will end once you've stretched a band from the center of your starburst straight up. Then you grab your third color. Don't forget to skip one pin. So you don't start on the pin that you just ended on, but you start on the pin right above it. Then you stretch the band from the center pin diagonally up to the right, and you continue to stretch out bands from the center of your starburst um, clockwise. You finish your starburst by stretching out a band from the center of your starburst straight up. Now I'm fast forwarding this footage again. So you can continue to make these starbursts until you're totally finished with all six stars on your rainbow loom. You should be able to do this on your own now, but should you need some more explanation, you can always rewind this video to listen to the explanations again. To finish this, we need to add cap bands. Put one band onto two fingers, you stretch it out and turn it into the shape of an eight. Then you fold it back over your fingers. We add this to the last pin on the middle row, and then we also add a cap band to the middle of each starburst. I'm pointing them out right here, so don't forget to add these. Again, to make a cap band, put it on two fingers, stretch it out, turn it into the shape of an eight, and then fold it back over your fingers. Then you can grab the cap band 
and the first center of your starburst is the second pin on the middle row. Then you skip a pin and you go to the fourth pin on the middle row and you add a cap band to this starburst as well. It is really important that you add these cap bands to the middle of each starburst, so don't skip or forget this step. And also make sure that you add it to the correct pin. Again, you can see the bundle of colors and you just take the middle pin in the bundle of colors and you add a cap band to that pin. Um, or if you like to just pay attention to the middle row, you can put a cap band on the middle of a starburst, skip one pin and add a cap band to the next one. It's really important that you add these because if you don't, then the starburst will fall apart and then you will not have a starburst bracelet at the end of this video. Then you turn your loom around so that the opening of all the pins is facing you. Grab your hook so we can start hooking. We'll start on the first pin of the middle row. You want to hook the blue band up to the second pin on the middle row. There's a cap band on this first pin, so make sure you put your hook inside of this cap band and inside of the pin. Then you grab your blue band, make sure the cap band doesn't fly off of your pin, and then you hook it over the second pin on the middle row. Now what we want to do is we start from the center of this starburst and we want to hook outwards and counterclockwise. As you can see here. So you put your hook into the center of your starburst and you grab the very first blue band. You take this out of the pin and this band should be attached to the pin on the bottom right. So you stretch it out and over this pin on the bottom right. Again, you put your hook into the center of the starburst and then you wanna grab the upper blue band. You take it out and this blue band should be attached to the pin on the upper right. So you take it and put it over the pin on the upper right. And we continue to do so counterclockwise. Um, I've said it before in this video, it's very important that you do this in this order or else it could technically still all fit together, but it just won't look as neat. So you make sure that every band you grab, you take it from the inside of the pin and from the inside of all your rubber bands, and then you put it over the pin that the band is attached to. So essentially you're just folding the band back over the pin, but you're holding all the rubber bands together. Uh, actually, you're holding just the cap band together. So now it looks like a starburst, but a stretched out starburst. So now let's head on to the next starburst. You start on the bottom band and you hook this up to the center of your starburst. And from there, you start working outwards and counterclockwise. So let's start doing this. Put your hook in the bottom, very, very bottom pin of this next starburst and you take it out and over the center pin of your second starburst. Then from the center of your starburst, you grab the first, in this case, pink band. Make sure you do this from the center of the pin and from the center of all the rubber bands. Then you take it out and you stretch it onto the pin on the bottom right. Now, since we're working counterclockwise, we go back into the center of your starburst. We take the first or the top uh, pink band and we attach it onto the pin on the upper right. Then you go back, you put your hook back into the center of the starburst. You grab the upper pink band and you stretch it out onto the pin directly above it. Then you do the upper left and then the bottom left. So again, we're working outwards and counterclockwise, but don't forget to grab the bottom of your starburst and work it up to the center first. So you put your hook into the bottom pin of your third starburst and work it upwards to the center of your starburst. Make sure you grab this band from the inside of all the other rubber bands, or if you have trouble remembering this, you can always just put your hook in the uh, kind of C or opening of your pin and you should be okay from there. So now we work from the center of the starburst and we work outwards and counterclockwise, of course. So you grab 
from the center, the upper green band in this case, and then you work it counterclockwise outwards. I know I've said this a million times, but I don't want you to forget this. So, of course, I'm using blue, pink, and green. Um, but obviously, you can use your own colors. And you need six bands per starburst. So that's why you need 12 bands per color, because I'm using the same color for two starbursts each. Now I'm going to fast forward this footage again. I want to remind you that you can always pause the video. Um, this does not need to be a race. So pause the video, continue to loom until all your starbursts are finished. And of course, once you are ready for the next step, you can hit play again. I think of all the rainbow loom bracelets, this might just be my favorite one because I love the starbursts, I love the stars, um, I just love the shape and it's very comfortable bracelet. So if you're making this, get excited because it's really awesome and I would love to know which colors you're using for your bracelet so make sure to leave a comment under this video and tell me uh, which colors you're using for your bracelet. So this is what it should look like right now. You can always pause the video and compare it to your loom and just to make sure that it looks like each other and it doesn't look completely different. Um, so we start working on the perimeters of the bracelet right now. So you put your hook inside of the first pin on the middle row. You grab the upper white band uh, from the inside of the cap band. So there's a cap band, there's a white band that attaches to the first pin on the left row and one to the first pin on the right row. You want to grab the one that attaches to the first pin on the left row. You take it out and put it over that pin. Then from the inside of all the bands on your first pin, I've already shown it, I'm a little lagging behind right now. <laughs> you grab the bottom white band and you take it out of your pin and you attach it to the pin directly above it. So as you can see, this is what you do with every single pin on this left row. Um, it is important that you do do it in this order. You do the left row first um, because that's the first row you put all your bands on. If you don't do it, it's just going to look a little funky. It's I don't think it's that big of a deal. And don't forget to loom this very last band on the left last pin on the left row, grab the white band and hook it over the last pin on the middle row. And now we go back all the way to the start and you put your hook inside of the cap band on the first pin of the middle row and you grab the bottom white band and this white band attaches to the first pin on the right row. You put it over that pin and you put your hook inside of that pin, you grab the bottom white band you take it out and attach it to the pin directly above it. And again, we continue to do this all the way to the end of this right row. Um, I know I might speed up the footage uh, quite a bit. And this is because um, I'm teaching you how to do it and you should be able to remember what to do right now and do it all by yourself. And then hopefully you can make it without even needing this video next time. Again, don't forget to hook this last white band from the last pin on the right row to the last pin on the middle row. And then you want to put your hook through the last pin on the middle row. Grab a new white band and you put it on your hook and you want to t yeah, take this white band through all the bands on this last pin on the middle row, but you don't want to take it all the way through just halfway and then the other half you put on your hook and you push it to the thicker part of your hook and if you loomed everything correctly then your bracelet should already be attached and the only thing that's left to do is just take the bracelet off of your loom so I know a lot of people have trouble with taking it off of their loom because it tends to fall apart sometimes and the only reason that it falls apart is when you haven't loomed or hooked things together correctly. I've tried to explain it to you as good as I could, but who knows, you might have made a mistake and that's not terrible. It's uh, just a little annoying because you might need to 
you will need to start all over again. And now what we're doing is making an extension. So you put a band on your hook and you want to kind of do the same thing we just did. You take the band halfway through the bands that were on your hook. You turn your hook around and put it through the other half of your band. And then you put a new one on there and a new one. So here we're adding another white band. And this white band, you pull through the two bands that are on your hook right now. Then you turn your hook around and the other half of your white band you put back onto your hook. Like this. And you can put it around your wrist right now and see if it is long enough. If it's not long enough, you can add as many bands as you like. If it is a little too long, then you can take uh, a couple of bands out. To finish off the bracelet, you want to attach your C or your S clip to the last band that's on your hook right now. So take the two sides that are on your hook and push it into your C or S clip. And then you want to take the other side of your bracelet and attach it to your C or S clip as well. That way it's holding both sides of your bracelet and your bracelet is finished right now. So this is what it looks like. It's super cute, it's one of my favorites um, and it sits very comfortably on your wrist. So that's very nice as well. A very nice bonus, obviously. Well, I hope you liked this tutorial and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.